Well, howdy folks, Hell Rex here, and welcome to Th Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 93, and today we're going to be talking about the 30-ton Karnov UR Transport. That's a VTOL, Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Alright, now, it's 30 tons, it's a very interesting little aircraft, it has a movement of 1117, uh, being vertical takeoff, it can land anywhere you want it to. It's going to take some movement points, though. It has internal combustion engine, so turboprop, basically. Uh, it has the 24 points of armor, so basically somebody sneeze at it with anything of any substantial uh, size, weapon, and you're probably going to knock it out of the sky. Um, so with the 24 points of armor. Now, the big thing it does, it carries around 6 ton of cargo space. That could be carrying around any type of equipment. It could carry around, most useful is carrying around infantry. To get them in and out of the battlefield. Especially if you're doing any type of uh, mobile activity. So it, you gotta go hit a... A strong point someplace that doesn't have any uh, good defenses that will knock anything out of the air. You can drop in your platoons of infantry directly on site or slightly off of, uh, no, let's say off the objective slightly out of uh, line of sight someplace. Drop your infantry off and then hightail it out of there. So, basically, let's just put it this way. Uh, you can have your standard leg infantry platoon. They cost you three tons of cargo space. You could put two platoons of infantry in one of these things and drop them off for hardly any points, which is kind of nice. Or you could throw in a mechanized infantry platoon in one, drop it off, and watch them go zipping around the battlefield after they dropped them. Or you can take a four tons and put in a uh, jump infantry platoon. This is kind of nice. So you don't even have to necessarily uh, land. You just kind of zip over and just have the infantry jump out. And kind of like airborne, you know, it's airborne assault. Land them where you want. They're jump infantry. So they just little, little turbo fans on their back or jetpacks or however the, the nation state wants to use them like so there you go now that's pretty much how we've ever used the the car knobs on the battlefield now there have been other times it's like you have a mission where you need a resupply so you need to bring in a few tons of uh, munitions let's say you got a, a mech that's uh, low on ammunition and you got six tons of ammunition you can bring in so Say you want to resupply your AC-20, all right? You can bring in six t tons of AC-20 ammo and resupply the hunchbacks or hunchbacks that you may have or some LRM or SRM ammo. You know, that's the uh, wonderful thing about these things. So it is a way to get supplies to the front line. It's a way to get your troops to the front line quickly via through the air not having to slog it through uh, terrain via of uh, foot stomp and here there wherever they may be so that's the nice thing about it but I did mention is that one of the problems with the uh, the Karnov is that it is facing well the biggest problem was it has no armor so you look at this like for 24 points of armor you get six on the front you know, you take anything like an AC-10, that's just punching punching holes right on through the other side. And that's not going to be anything. So you got to uh, think of these things like a nest egg. So you got to uh, shepherd them around, get to keep an eye on them, keep them from being hurt. Because, you know, you're looking at something, yeah, they're, the battle value on these things is pretty cheap. You know, you're talking 120 uh, point battle value. So they're really insignificant in the grand ski with think so oh what do you think about oh your typical heavy mech you could bring 10 of these things for the cost of one heavy mech and then you throw in 
some infantry and stuff like that heck you could uh, take a hillside behind the lines and just drop a ton of infantry everywhere and uh, turn it into a um, little pillbox along with some other heavy uh, support uh, equipment and stuff like that so that's where they kind of hide kind of handy and you don't need a runway they just can lift off you know that these if you have some like off sprays you know from ghq or something of that nature you could substitute those in also uh in game terms so it, it's just any type of vertical takeoff equipment now there is some variants that they talk about mostly there's no official variants they're just ones that uh they, they say the owners have that own them have taken it upon themselves to turn some of these into gunships i could see like you throw one ton of ammunition on this thing and then it says that each uh arc has two machine guns so you got eight machine guns so that's what well you're looking at five you know you five six tons worth of uh equipment that you can throw on this and you basically turn it into an anti-infantry um flying pillbox that's the nice thing about it is that you could sit there and just go over and just strafe over top of uh enemy infantry and hopefully that they're not going to turn around and uh do a number on you and shoot you out of the sky so yeah i've never been a fan of just using something like this yeah they it's an 1117 so obviously you're always going to probably see a modifier 4 with it to not get shot but you know, anybody that's ever played the game you know that eventually somebody's going to get lucky and uh, hit and it it's always seems to be the big weapons that like an AC-10 or a PPC or something of that nature that makes it through the cracks and uh, next thing you know this you're a flaming wreck falling from the sky so you know but you know you put 120 points of battle value into it so eh not too bad now i have looked into with my own variants of this you can put a ac5 on one of these you take an AC-5, stick it out the front, you turn it into basically a gunship. And But the only way you can do this effectively is drop it one movement point down by to a 10-15. So now it's a 10-15 mover, so you lose one movement point on the uh, cruise speed and either flank speed you're losing two. And it's not necessarily a bad deal. But now you got an AC-5, so now you got something that can shoot out a longer distance, hit a target out to a longer distance, so you're not necessarily hurting at the shorter range if somebody get a better firing solution at you. Now, you could turn around and just put an AC-2 on that. An AC-2 uh, auto cannon. You know, you're, now you're looking at the same weapon, so if you uh, take care of that, so now you're looking at a few less tons, but then you could up armor or leave the cargo space in there. So you could do that where now you have uh, the difference of two tons. So you could carry around a, or I think it is two tons. Let me check here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a difference of two tons. So not thinking too well so with the difference of two tons you're not necessarily able to bring uh, a full squad or a platoon you know you could take some leg infantry you could take maybe two or three let's just double check here a leg infantry platoon is 28 guys that's three cargo space so you could have two tons of cargo space so you could have three squads. So with some, that would be something you could do is drop off a couple partial uh, platoons or that nature 
and uh, drop them off and then fly around with your auto cannon too and plinking away with it and that's an option that you could do with it in the game so they're just things you could do or you just leave it with an ac5 and just stand off a little bit farther and try to hit five point shots it's up to you it's just things that you can think about playing with uh it's not necessarily a good thing if you try you could put a medium laser on it but you're going to be throwing a lot of the tonnage into um, heat sinks you know you got to put on heat sink equipment on it to make up the difference because it's a uh, internal combustion engine you don't have a fusion reactor now if this thing had a fusion reactor you could uh, go that route with a fusion reactor and then you could throw a whole bunch of medium lasers on it or a large laser that might be something put a large laser on it and then a uh, fly along that way now that'd be interesting a car knob with a medium laser or a large laser that's kind of cool that's an interesting idea and you still would have a uh, ton of space left over for cargo if you wanted to so you could toss somebody out the door you know it'd be interesting it's like your jump infantry i think it's three squads 21 guys for four tons yeah you could get a full squad so it'd have to be just a straight leg infantry you get a a squad of infantry if you wanted that route or you can just leave it with a cargo space or put another ton of ammo in it so you can just sit there and fly around with 40 shots for ever in a day so ideas abound it's up to you so there you go that's uh, pretty much it in a nutshell that's the Karnov. yeah we get to use it every once in a while especially it's a scenario based type of game or if you got a game you run a lot of infantry give it a shot see what, how it works for you all right this is all and we will talk with you later